creative and welcome back to our tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to texture our model and make it look really cool. So first thing we're going to do is assign our materials. So press M on the keyboard to open up material editor. Find your materials, so I'm just going to keep them here. But instead I'm going to cut them and put them into my box art folder here where everything else is. So we'll call this head and we'll call this body. And then we'll just assign the head to the first one and the body to the second one. So we can put our head on that one and then we can close the material editor, right click on our head and click isolate selection. If you don't know what isolate means, it basically means hide everything else and just keep this showing. So we have the front here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to add an editable poly and click our polygon and click the front and then we'll, at the same time we'll also click the back. So we'll do two at once. So then click modify list, click unwrap UV and click open UV editor. So what we can do is in our checkbox change it to map, select all and we're just going to scale them all the way down. So if you see at the same time it is scaling both of them so as we move this one you will see it moves it. See, So we can just zoom into our material editor here, align the boxes to the boxes kind of and here we can grab the tool extender or whatever it's called freeform I think yeah and we'll just put this one here so you can see the red line now outlines it so if we look at this one we can cross this off you have the front but the back is also the same in order to change this we'll go back to open UV editor and if you click on tools I believe it is or Hmm, that one, that's it, there it is, polygon. We can click on one and move it. And as you can see, it moves both. So if we click on the other one, we can move the back one. So we'll move that out of the way, move our face one back where it is. And place it in there. Select our back one, which is now the same size because we resized it. And I swear down, that's the back of it. Yeah, that is the back. So we'll put this on the back. There, there we go. So if we have a look now, we have front and back assigned. Looking good. So, open UV editor again. That's weird. That one should be there. Hmm, never mind then. But, yep, so back to our editable poly. Don't worry about it fre freaking out. Select your two sides and click your unwrap UV again and don't do that. There we go. Control Z after that. Add another editable poly, that'll make it work. Select your two sides and we'll set the top and bottom at the same time. Because we these ones are easy to do. So add a new another UV map and open map and let's start with our polygons. So we'll select them all. And scale them all down because they all need to be the same size. So if we just take it to one of these, the only different one is going to be the top ones, top and bottom ones, but that's only because they have a bigger box to cover. And we'll drag this over to here. So let's have a look which one we're editing. So we'll grab the top one and put it around so we're editing this side. So this should be over here. there so we have our head and um, which other one have we got we have the other side which is in the right place so we can just drag it up a minute we've got the bottom which is here so I, I can assume say for that these two are the top and bottom so we're going to zoom in and place it into the hole or the line and down here we'll just stretch it out all the way down here to there and as you can see I've dragged it out a little bit which I didn't mean to do, we can drag it back in so let's put our middle back where it was which I believe was about there and is this our top or bottom? I believe this is our bottom so that means our top one is under it so we can zoom in organize it and scroll up to the top, grab this one, organize it. There we go. 
So if we have a look now, our F4 to hide it, our shredder head is complete. So it's the head, so if we right click unhide all, right click isolate selection as well to make it better. So we've got our head. So we can hide our head now and we'll work on the hmm arms. Why not? So we'll drag the we'll work on the body first actually. So if we select all of these and just drag our second texture on and click assign to selection, assign to object only assigns it to the object you've dragged it onto. So right click isolate selection and again editable poly select all using the polygon mode uh, unwrap UV, there we go open UV editor and body, so let's switch to our polygon mode drag them all the way down some of these are going to be weird because the body has different sizes on this so look carefully for the lines you need I'm going to do this middle one here because this seems the most because it has two the same size where the, everything else has one don't worry about scaling these, it won't become distorted, so just scale to your heart's content. Oh dear. There we go. Drag it where you want it. That's that one done. So, let's drag it across the side, and let's see which one we're editing first. This one is the top one. There we go. I'm wondering it looked weird then. So where's the top? It doesn't have a top. So the top one well, we can just keep white then because it doesn't have a top at the moment. I don't know why, but so let's see what else we've got. We've got are we facing the front? Yep. So this is the front of his body, which is this bit here. And I have a feeling we need to move this up. Wait. I'm just trying to get my head around this box, it's weird. Okay then, so we need to reverse this. So if you go to your rotate tool, or you can go to tools and mirror vertical, that looks better. Now that it's actually in the right place. So what we got now, we've got our, that side, so we can drag this here. We've got the back, which is the cape here, which is the longest one. So we can zoom in, align it, and this one, since it's the longest one, we might have to re rotate this one vertically again. Or, yeah, so we're going to have to drag this one up more, to about here. And we will have to extend this back bit by just bringing it down a little, but that shouldn't be too hard. And while we're here, I'll just rotate it vertically. There we go. In fact, I'm not going to extend it, I'm just going to put the, his back entire, as an entire cape. Seems easier. And what we got here, we have the left side, which is the side over here. We should have rotated these models upside down so we can actually see them better, but we'll be fine for now. And then we'll just finally assign this one which is the bottom one to here scroll out, bring it down if you hold shift while you're um, scaling in freeform mode you'll only drag in one direction which is really helpful so put our final texture back in its place and it's there let's have a look, so we have I believe the front the side, the roll ups, the two sides are upside down, so um, flip vertically. So we have that left and side. We have the back in the right place, and the up and down. It doesn't matter. The reason these are white is because these are the intersections what go will go into the head. So this one is done. So if we right click isolate, and if we unhide all, the, these part the head would actually come down more. So if we go to our position. I'll bring it down say to 20 that's how it's supposed to look that's better so if we click the two body part and head we can hide and we'll now work on the arm unwrap UV we don't have to put a thing on 
but if you click your faces you will have to select them all so either way which you find faster so again scale all the way down and this is the part we look weird at because these are the weird looking ones so if we just pay, put these here and let's have a look what we're editing first I can hear a bee outside my window which is probably not good um, so we click this one what we're editing first the top one I believe the top one will be this bit here so we can just actually put that back and drag them all on we can edit them the size wise mine is deciding to freak out a little that so what we got so we got the bottom the fist this time so we drag down on the fist and drag down we have that one there the fist is done what else do we have we have the top which has to wait over here we have this side which is the if we just use the move tool we can drag it on its axis and apparently we have no more hmm Oh, I see. It's trying. It's multiplying them. So we'll get rid of this UV and just add an invisible poly again because this one's messing up. What we can do is when we do this on, we'll just duplicate it. So we need to create a new instance of it using that. My mistake. So scale them all down and keep going. Select to our polygon mode. Oh, drag it up to the right place. Zoom in. Freeform. So that one's done. Now let's begin looking at where we are. So we have this one, which is this side, so we can drag this out to this side. We have the top, which should remain here. We have the hand, which comes down. And scale it down. This time we have the back of it, which is the one all the way over here. We have the other side, which is the one here. You won't be able to see this one, so that's why the flaps are white. We have the actual top. This is the top top, so we can put this back up here. Top, and then we have the that's it, that's our last one. So if we have a look at that. So that looks fine. So obviously we could go in and put more detail around it, but we're not going to. So we're just going to get the position of this and copy clone this. But then we're going to drag it out a little bit and go to tools and then mirror. There we go. So that looks to be mirrored completely yep so that's mirrored completely get the position of this so it's minus 14 well 14 then 18 then 14 18 there we go so we can bring it back there we go he has two arms and a head so we can hide all the, these and we'll just work on the legs now so edit poly again don't make that mistake unwrap UV and we'll just quickly do this I think after this tutorial with how long it is you will definitely definitely understand texturing and um, these cubes but yeah feet 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 is here there we go so the feet are going to be a little bit weird because they're sideways so if we just rotate our entire thing sideways um, see if there's a tool to do it because it's going to be very neat like that is there any tools? Mm, no we'll just do it like this then I'm not going to move it super neat this way though. It's a shame there isn't a tool to do that, but. Get as neat. That'll do. So, drag it down to where we want it. This one will be here. And scale it down. If there is a tool, I don't know about it yet, but yeah. 
So, we have the front. I believe the front is actually this one here. So we have the back at the moment, I believe. Yes. And the back is the one over here. Sorry, my mistake. The back is here. And there's the tabs to go in again. We have the side, which is the one here. So we can just drag that out of the way. We have the bottom, which is this here, because it doesn't have a bottom. We have the top, which is again blank. And then we have the front, which is the one here. And then we have the other side, which is over here. And then we drag this into the right place. There. Don't forget about the tabs. We need to move our character up and down. Unhide all. And we'll just bring everything down like five. I believe that I should do it. Minus five. So minus five of 18, that would be 13, 12. That's two, 12. My math isn't that good. 13, my apologies. And then bring this down again, so 15. There. So the shredder is pretty much done. You could add your own textures to the feet or the places where you want. So press but, um, M on the keyboard yeah. to open up materials. Next tutorial will be modeling the actual outing so of this. To keep them here. To make it but instead, I'm going to I'll cut on. But that's to put them into my box art folder here. Um, I where I've done this. So we'll call this ones. head. And we'll call this body. Yes, and then we'll just assign the head to the first one and the body to the second. Thanks for watching. So we can put our head on that one and then we can close the material editor